Thursday after serving 12 years as a congresswoman from the great state of Ohio. Marsha Fudge was sworn in just last week as secretary of the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. We are very happy to welcome Secretary Marsha Fudge to GMA3. Secretary Fudge, thank you so much for being with us. We know you are five days onto the job right now <laughs> and a lot to tackle already. We began the show, as we said, a year ago when there was already a housing insecurity in this country. And now this is pretty staggering over this past year. According to the administration, one in five renters is behind on rent and over 10 million homeowners are behind on their mortgage payments. What do we do? How do you start to tackle this problem? First, let me say congratulations to you both. Uh, and it's a pleasure to be on this show with you this morning. I think that one of the things that we're going to do to tackle this problem, of course, is enforce what we have already done. The president put in place the American Rescue Plan. And in that plan, there is more than $40 billion to assist renters to not only continue to pay their current rent, but to catch up on past due rent. There is more than $10 billion in this package to assist homeowners who are behind on their mortgages. And HUD has already extended the moratorium on evictions for housing through June 30th. We believe that the resources that have been uh, given to us is going to make a major difference. And as of this morning, we released our homeless report. Mm -hmm. There is $5 billion just to assist people who are homeless to find housing through emergency vouchers. So we are on the road to making a huge dent in this problem. And Secretary Fudge, on that homeless report that w has gone out, you, I think, believe that the number is 580,000 people are now experiencing homelessness in this country. I think that's the fourth straight year it's gone up. But the thing is, that count was actually done pre-pandemic. Pre-COVID, that's How correct. How bad is it going to be when we see those post-COVID numbers? Well, I think it's going to be significant. I'm, I'm not going to try to sugarcoat it. I mean, when we have people who are literally living on the streets in those numbers, in an extraordinary circumstance such as COVID, we know that it's going to get worse. What we're cr trying to do now is make sure that we can cut it off uh, before it gets any worse. That is why it is so significant that we can help cities and communities find housing for people who are most at risk of, of contracting COVID in the first place because they live in encampments, they live on the street, and if they are in shelters, they are just in situations that are so close, it's almost impossible not to catch it. So we're trying to make sure that we can get ahead of it. It's, it's gone on for a year, unfortunately, but now that we are here, help really is here. I know that's good to hear for so many people. And I know you have said that one of your priorities as HUD secretary is to end discriminatory housing practices. How do you do that? Well, what we know is that a large portion, the majority of persons who are homeless are people who are black and brown. We know that. We also know that there would be more people of, of color that own their own homes if we were fair in how we gave them access to credit. So one of my jobs is to make sure that FHA and all other parts of HUD look at the discriminatory practices that have been institutionalized and make sure we change them. Uh, so we're going to make sure that people do have the kind of access they need, the education they need, the assistance they need, whether it be down payment assistance, which is a major problem with people of color, uh, so we, we have a myriad of things that we can do to help, and we're going to do it. All right. Well, Secretary Fudge, I, can, I cannot believe we have been on the show on the air here a year, so we're brand new. You're even more brand new than we are. <laughs> you, uh, you've been on the job for five days. <laughs> five days. Five whole days. Five days. Well, good luck to you. We certainly hope th these issues are going to be talked about for a long time, and there's going to be a lot to talk about. We certainly hope we can consider you a friend of the show and see you down the road, okay? But good luck to you. Thank you so much. I'd love to come back and visit with you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.